Hi, I'm Victor from Divimundo.com. So most UX experts will tell you that you shouldn't place the field labels in a form inside of the field. The problem with this is that when the user starts typing in a form field, the label will disappear and it's easy to forget what the label was. People are just people after all. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to move the field labels outside of the field in the Divi form. All the resources needed can be found in this blog post on divimundo.com and if you are watching this directly on YouTube, you will find the link in the description below the video. So let's head over to our beautiful Divi form. I used all the fields available like these uh, text fields, first name, last name. We have an email field, we have checkboxes, a message field, radio buttons and we have a drop down. As you can see, the field labels are inside the text fields here and that's what we want to change. So if we head back to the blog post, we can see the original design here. And this is the design that we are going for, where the field labels are above the fields like this. The first method that we are going to look at is some custom CSS. And I will begin by copying this CSS snippet. And I'll head back to my website and I go to the theme customizer. You can also find this by going to Divi and theme customizer. I'll open the additional CSS tab and I'll paste the snippet. And you can see some changes here. We have the field labels above the field here for the short text fields, for the email field, for the message field. And we also have an extra title here for the drop down field. And just to have a look at what we have done, this first snippet, that's what will move these labels up above the fields. Uh, I've also added the font weight bold. If I remove this one, you can see that these, these uh, titles are not bold, but I think it looks nice if you make them bold. So um, I'll keep that one. I also added a bottom here of three pixels. So if you watch closely here, if I remove this one, you can see that it's pretty tight between the label and the field, but you can of course play around with these values. The second snippet, hide duplicate placeholders. If I remove this one, you can see that we have the placeholder above the field and inside the field. Of course, you can keep this if you like it, but I think it's a little bit double information. So I'll just remove it by putting this snippet back. And then we have the last one, high duplicate titles in radio buttons and checkboxes. So if you have a close look here at the checkboxes and the radio buttons, if I remove this one, you can see that you have duplicate headings here or um, labels, category, category, work experience, work experience. I think you would like to keep this one. Now it's just one field label here and one field label here. Okay, so we have one more issue and that's the drop down. Because drop downs are a bit tricky to style. You can see that we have this field label above, and then we have the same field label inside as the first option. And also, this little icon here, the triangle, is slightly out of the, the vertical center. We have a fix for that too. If we scroll down in the blog post, we have styling the drop down field. And the first option is to remove the title this one above the drop down so we can start by trying that one out i will copy this snippet and i will just add it below the other ones and now you can see that the field label above the drop down is gone and also this icon is now pushed into place again in the center so regarding the user experience you can still see the field label here select your product and if i expand it you can still see it so it should not harm your user experience but maybe you want to have the field label above each field so we can fix that too by going back to the blog post and copy the last css snippet we'll go back and we will replace this one the last one and now you can see that we have our field label above the dropdown, but we also have this little icon pushed into place. 
And you might have to play around with this margin top value. I've used 16 pixels, but I also have some extra space inside of my fields. So you might have to adjust this number a bit. Custom CSS is one way of styling the Divi forms. Another more convenient way is to use a plugin. And I'm really excited about this particular one. It was just released by Divi Engine and it's called Divi Form Builder. And uh, one of many features is that you can style the form fields as you like. You can put them on top of the fields to the left or to the right. You can style the color, the font, everything. But this is just a fraction of the features in this nice plugin. You can uh, enable form entries to be saved in the database. You can have file uploads in the forms, date pickers, newsletter integrations with Bloom. You have uh, styling of the success message and the error message, where you also can use layouts from the DV library. And it's not just about contact forms, you can also create front and post forms, register forms, login forms, and you can use custom field mappings and combine it with advanced custom fields. And you have loads of design settings here. So everything that you miss in the default DV form module, you can find in the DV form builder. So you can read more about this on divimundo.com slash DFB. And since you have watched so far in this video, I can share my secret discount code. If you add Divimundo in the checkout, you will get 10% off. And uh, you can get this plugin from about 26 US dollars for a year. So it's also a really good price. Let's have a brief look. I'll go back to my website and I have installed the Diviform Builder plugin. And I've created a basic uh, form with a new form builder module. So we have the first name, last name, email. We have a text message. Also, we have a file upload and we have a date picker. So if I would like to move these field labels, I'll just go to the field. And as you can see, we are using the Divi Builder here. So it's really user friendly. And uh, we scroll down to the layout options. And we have the field label, label position and we'll take it from the default placeholder and we will put it on top and there we go and now i could actually right click and copy field label position and i can go back here and we can just paste the styling here paste item styles and there we go and we do do the same thing for the email and for the message field so there we go it's really, really quick. And we can also go to the design tab and to label text. And I can change the font. Let's pick a funny one, Able. And we can make it bigger and we can change the color. Okay, maybe not super beautiful, but just to show you the endless opportunities here. So this is just a super brief view of the DV Form Builder plugin. I'll get back to you with a more thorough plugin review later. So check out divimundo.com slash DFB and use the discount code DIVIMUNDO to get 10% off your Divi Form Builder license. That's all for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching.